Hi guys, Jared with Awesome Sauce Electric again. Uh, here to show how to add room to your panel. Now remember to like and subscribe for any more house electrical videos. And it might seem a little impossible, but there's a way to add more space to your breaker panel. If you want to add, say, a garage panel or maybe a heater somewhere, or even a dedicated outlet circuit. I'm going to show you how and the tools you need. Alright guys, so the only tool we're really going to be using today is our trim screwdriver with that very thin flathead blade. And essentially what this will be for is taking these screws off here in the panel and then taking off the screw that the wire hooks to the breaker with. And then for our material, that will essentially give us more room on our panel. It's what's called a tandem breaker. Now this takes the place of one breaker, but it has two spots that you can land two different circuits on. So essentially, the only thing you want to look out for is see how these are 220s. You want to look for the breakers that have 20s marked on them. Because some will have 15s, and those are most likely lighting circuits, and 20s will be your outlet circuits. So, as you can see, there's a space right here already in the panel. And one of these will clear up one spot, so I'll have two spots open. And what you want to look for when you buy these is there's a lot of different panels, so you want to make sure you get the right kind of breaker. So this panel here is a QO panel. And how you can tell that is if I, when I take this off, I'll show you because there's a spot on these breakers right here that will read it to you. This says type QOT, all right? So let's get started taking this panel off. All right, so here we have our panel. Now, this is hot, this is all hot. So if you're not comfortable with this, do not do this. But it's very simple. Um, these screws right here that these wires are on, those are hot. They're hot until you turn the breaker off. Then they're dead. So essentially what we're gonna try and do today is tie in two 20 amp breaker circuits. So let's kill them first. Start taking these off. And then you can reach in there, pull them out. Our second one and now these are just popped in like that now we'll pull our other one off and i don't know if you guys can see that the type qo breaker in there and a easy identification right off the bat if you see this square d symbol and it's a black breaker it's more than likely a QO breaker. If you have a brown handle, it's probably a BR, square D panel. And that's most residential panels. So now we'll grab this guy and we'll snap it in. And as you can see, there's a little plugs here. And that'll snap onto just this plastic piece here. And then your bus bar back there. And this is all hot. So remember that, so be careful with your fingers. And make sure your breakers are off so you don't zap yourself. And then we'll uh, put our guys in here.
All right, so now I have a couple extra breakers here. So I'm gonna slap these in. Just for now, because it'll act as spares and we'll keep those off. We could turn these back on. And our last one, if you remember, I had this open space in my panel, so we'll put this in here to make that legal and we'll keep that off still too. And we will put our panel cover back on. Okay, simple as that. That's all there is to it. So now, as you can see, there's two spaces left. Now, if you wanted a two-pole breaker, say like this guy, to feed a garage panel, you could easily just move these guys up. Just like how I did, you snap them off and put them back on. And you could move those up and have two open spaces at the bottom or move them down to here, vice versa, whatever you wanna do. Um, very, very easy to do. Thanks for watching guys, and a uh, quick word of advice, don't fill your panel with them tandem breakers. I mean, it's all right to use, you know, two, three of them, but if you have a 100 amp panel, then it's a 100 amp panel for a reason. Don't blow it up, don't melt something, and tandem breakers are better than tying circuits together and landing them on one breaker, because it really sucks for the next guy. But again, thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, see what we do next week. Bye.